Good morning. It is Sunday morning and we are off to get some gas so we can play around the area. Closest gas station is seven miles back. <laughs> and well, why you wouldn't have a gas station right across from the National Park? I guess they want to keep it natural. Um, slept good? Did you sleep good, Lance? I slept real good. Yeah, slept good, and we're off and ready to see what we can get into around here. What beautiful sights we can see. Straight to the gas station. To the station. We're gassed up. We've got our Parks Pass, annual Parks Pass card. And we are ready to go explore the area. Really beautiful clouds on it today. They're like rolling down the mountain. sand dunes, have our map, ready to explore.
was an experience. Holy crap. It was so windy. Woo! Oh, guys, no one was tornado or hurricane. Oh, yeah. It was like one of those tunnels. Oh, my gosh. My hair is just a disaster now and snarled. But Lance was saying out there, you could tell how windy it was because all the wind through his hair, which he has none. And we cut off his beard yesterday, last night. Look at that. Woo! Fox. Wow, we'll come back and like sit down sometime <laughs> and we're thinking of even putting our air hammocks out there, but not on a windy not day. So windy, yeah. We sat down for that little bit there and that was crazy. <laughs> that was fun though. It was It was so windy. You were in the wind tunnel. <laughs> so we're driving through Pinion Campground. Look how wicked some of these trees are which is the state park. Oh, that's cool. Right at the dunes. But we did look and there is no openings until like September. So this is something you would have to plan ahead for sure. But, I mean, even though you've got some cool areas here, the campground we're at actually has just a great long distance overview, which is super cool. point of no return, <laughs> soft sand ahead. This is pretty cool. This is a really cool track. I'd say five to seven hundred bucks to install it. Tops. Bad. And if it was raining, we'd want to get out of here. But I think we're here in a good day. Okay, high clearance four wheel drive only, strictly enforced. Soft sand, lower your tire pressure, you'll get stuck. No, nope. so this will turn around. It's supposed to be really cool, but we don't want to do that. So we had read about the Madano Pass, and I was a little hesitant because some guy was on it and he got stuck for like 24 hours back there because it started raining and you have to lower your tire pressure and stuff. We don't have a winch or any toe straps with us and we don't have our air compressor so we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it a different day because I don't know. We'll just be smart about it. But well, What we need is we need, we do have a toe strap but we don't have like um we don't have any of the other tools like a shovel or those boards that you put under yeah. or a winch. If we had those and brought our air compressor, which we can do because our air compressor connects to our battery in our car, we could easily do all that stuff. But I don't want to go out there and get stuck without any of those tools. So that's one thing on our list for next year is we'll get all those tools so that when we do go off road, we can do it properly. So there's a cool back view of the dunes, kind of a side view. You see little tiny people way down there all trekking. Definitely not as windy over here. <laughs> so here's a great view. Whee! Oh, Lance, go Lance. How often do you get to go up on ramps like that? It's so fun. <laughs> Nice and soft and sandy. <laughs> He's hitting all the sides. Makes you feel like you're at NASCAR. So the next place we're going and we're going to see Zapata Falls and up this 
dirt road so we get some more back roading here and we'll have to see what they look like oh we did I did read that you're supposed to bring water shoes and I don't have water shoes because I said you have to cross a lot of streams yeah. and you need shoes on or you'll slip then we won't do it today or right now I guess we'll just go look we'll scout still going up and it's very very rocky Zapata Falls campground and there's a lot of pretty little sites we're up high you have mountains here there's some great views so that guy's got a really great sight wow he's above all the birds <laughs> Here's a view from this little site. Wow. Get ready for some views going back down. That was a great Look, little campground. Straight ahead. Here we go. Okay, pause right here. Pause. <laughs> Look how incredibly vast that is. You can just see so far. Wow. So right down there is the sand dunes. Don't quite look as big. found another dirt road. This is going into Denton Canyon. turn around because someone had a fence with no trespassing after and that's something a couple of times we've done is there's dirt roads it's a actual road with a name and it shows on the map that I use that it keeps going up the mountain for a ways but then somebody will block it and say no trespassing or they'll just have a gate it's like are they supposed to do that? I mean, it's a road that's supposed to go on. The, another one that happened at was like a county road, an actual county road. So, I don't know. Like people own property on either side, no trespassing, but this is a road that you should be able to drive down. So, interesting. 1883 or something? Second. It's an old cemetery and just all grass through. What is that old thing right there? Is that, it looks like almost like a book that you'd sign in. So it says, restricted to descendants of original Oraka, Oraka pioneers only. Permit something about marking graves. 1888.
can just take it out whenever. I just haven't taken time to learn it and I'm afraid because it's expensive, but I can do it. Um, Lance is making us hamburgers tonight, hamburgers and American fries. So I get a break and I'm out here with my little friend Daisy who, now that I'm not paying attention to her, she's moving around. There she goes. There she is. Hey Daisy, use a goodie. <laughs> and looking around, the clouds have changed again and it's just, it's constant. And that's why I told Lance I really love just the sweeping views and the constant changing like weather and clouds and scene. So I've, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. And different directions have different, <laughs> different clouds and looks and rain or whatever. So um, beautiful, beautiful night. It's like 68 out, it's just perfect. And I'm just sitting here looking at the dunes. So here's in front of me. A little bit of rain up there. And then I just looked over to my left and it looks like a little storm front's coming. And then if I look back over to my right, it's got some big thunderhead clouds yeah. over there that are all yeah, orange and pretty. And Lance is calling me for dinner, so we'll be back out after. Look at this beautiful dinner. Brioche bun, Swiss cheese, American flat fries. Thank you, Lance. You're welcome. You're awesome. It's going to be good. Came in next to us and set a tent up, so they're going to stop it. Ooh, it's raining hard. The dunes is still shiny though. Look at that. All sunny. <laughs> so, I've been working on photos and just got ton of photos all edited. I'm so excited. The, some of the pictures are so incredible. Um, it just really captures what we're seeing, um, which is so fun. Um, I just love capturing those moments and just like the beauty that I see and all these places. I like just always want to capture it. So I do the video and the photos because I just want to look at look at those things and be able to be transported back and just to capture the essence of the beauty of that moment when I was standing there. So I'm excited about that. I've been doing that for hours. Lance, Lance went to bed at 7.44 tonight and it's about 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> so he's been sleeping for hours and hours and hours. Um, and I've just been working here on that. And then I just got done doing a letter um, out to a couple of our friends, Samaritas and Andre. Um, so got those being sent out as an update newsletter. And I think I'm going to get ready for bed and get in bed so we can get up at a decent time to... Uh, Go explore more around and see the dunes in the morning light. Um, I did step outside a little bit ago and I saw stars, like tons of stars. So excited. Um, I woke Lance up for a second and asked if he'd want to go see them. And he's like, yeah. And then he laid back down and started snoring. So I did hear a, um, a bunch of rain a second ago. So I don't know if it's clouded over not, but I'm going to go check. But when I stepped outside, it is pitch dark. I'm just completely quiet out there and pitch dark. So it feels kind of weird to go outside. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> um, might try doing that, but 
Otherwise, we will see everybody in the morning.